This is my mood for today. Resilience, patience, doing an extreme act. Dunking is nothing like swimming around Great Britain, but it's a self-discovery journey nonetheless. Yamabushi warrior monks of Japan embark on an annual endurance-based pilgrimage of self-discipline and spiritual enlightenment called an Akugaki. What is an Akugaki? It's hard to describe. The Yamabushi way of life centers around asceticism, which is characterized by abstinence from sensual pleasures. Asceticism is found in many religious traditions and is often associated with a frugal lifestyle and sometimes periods of fasting while concentrating on the practice of reflection upon spiritual matters. This is why daily practices would include waking up at 4 a.m., drinking as much green tea as your bladder could withstand, and skipping breakfast. Lots of meditating, more green tea, trekking 30 kilometers across mountainous terrain, finally meditating under waterfalls to test the limits of your willpower and blood circulation in your extremities. Should you have survived all that, you were granted entry into the neighboring monastery where dinner was served, you slept and repeated it all again the next day. The purpose? To achieve spiritual enlightenment through self-discipline by immersing yourself in the vast nature of the mountain and to sharpen your wisdom through discipline of both the body and mind. Essentially, the Yamabushi believe you learn best when you push your mind and body to its limits, which is achieved by trekking over terrain so high and so steep it taxes both the lungs and the legs. That's dunk life if I've ever heard it. I'm about halfway through this book and it's fueling my workouts every single day right now. Building that resilience. Can your body withstand this journey? Of course you need to get stronger and faster. Those are the fundamentals of power and jumping higher, but can you handle the jumping? Down the line of your journey, at some point, your body is going to be taking a beating. You're gonna be jumping for years. For me, I'm closing in on 10 years of jump training and I'm feeling better than ever. And that's what this book talks about. And Ross Edgley's other book, World's Fittest Book, outlines this perfect with the pyramid of priority. It starts with its basics, working its way up to specificity with no end. And I love that, highly recommend both books. Now my question for you, which is a question I have to ask myself often, do you have the patience to build that resilience, to build the giant foundation for your body to be able to handle all the specific work you wanna do, all the jumping, all the dunking, all the pounding that you're gonna put your body through? That's what I'm in the process of doing right now, feeling better than ever, and also the self-discipline and self-discovery is a huge bonus of doing this training. And I feel like I'm right on the cusp of the dream level I set out to get to from the get-go of my very first start day, journey day one, which is game dunking with ease and just having that elite vertical that was a dream level, proving to myself and to anybody that wants to do anything that anything is truly possible starting from any starting point. Intrinsic is when you're engaged in the activity because you find it personally rewarding. There's no trophies, records, or accolades, but rather the activity and the process itself is its own reward. So for my dunk lifers or anyone out there going for a dream, studies show that intrinsic motivation is a bigger predictor of success than an extrinsic motivation. For centuries, humans have been using these extreme acts of self-discipline, akugaki, to learn more about ourselves as a form of self-discovery. So if you're starting your journey, you're midway through, you're far into it, you understand that this self-discovery, there's nothing better than it. You're becoming the best version of yourself it's not just how to jump higher. It's seeing what you're capable of and pushing the limits just to see what's possible. And I can tell you from my own experience, there's been nothing more transformative and no more fulfilling feeling. Combining intrinsic motivation with an active self-discipline for self-discovery is a modern day pilgrimage. It's like a powerful form of spiritual sports science understood by some of the greatest athletes and history. So let's be freaking pilgrims, let's go. I can see myself after dunking doing something crazy like that, like an ultra marathon, 100 mile marathon, I don't know, but right now I'm in the dunk journey of, my, that's my akugaki right now. Bumps and bruises along the way, lifting like crazy right now, little MCL tweaks or groin tweaks or hamstring pulls, all these little strains. 
but we're going to stay disciplined. It's about not giving up. All right. So lastly, my current journey, I'm on week three of strength training. I've been lifting. I hit new PRs with 315 times two. I've never lifted that heavy in my life with as good form as well. Today, I'm deadlifting, probably going to lift more than I ever have, but I'm also going to take care of my body because it's a little banged up. So I'm going to be patient. I need to build this foundation, this resiliency. It doesn't happen overnight. I'd rather be smart and keep building this body. Dunking once a week. So this video right now was my last dunk session. Felt amazing. Dunked on 9.10, dunked on 10 feet, even tried 10.2. Sneak peek, I may or may not have gotten it, but was jumping really well for all this new stimulus of strength training. Ask any questions that you want. I hope this helps you on your journey and let's continue to freaking grind. It's insane how much energy I have and how much potential I see for myself even though I've been doing it for so long. My body feels healthier and stronger than ever and I feel like I have so much to still go and so much to learn and so much to build. So let's keep building, let's go. Yo, what's up, guys? Steve here, Planet Hollywood, aka I'm on Planet Earth and in Hollywood. What? So welcome back to the simulation. If you think we're simulated, please hit the subscribe button because every video going forward is going to be about me diving deep into quantum physics until I figure it out myself. So come on. shorts to be easier for me to get the right shorts let's go so far second try on 99 this is what I want to be on 10 feet warming up with dribble dunks Woo, easy yeah. two eighths over 10 feet Ten two. Nine ten on the dot. I'm Giannis for the day. First try for Steve, that's a good one. So a 5'10 guy with a 42 inch vert, this is what it's like for Giannis, that's a good ball. They go in. Oh. 
Oh. Ah, take a cup. Ooh. I gotta make that. Jesus Christ. I'm Giannis. Giannis. Oh. Giannis. 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 What? Giannis. Oh, jeez. It's fucking Giannis. That's Giannis right there. Thanks for watching. I freaking love this. Woo! Dunk Tip Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. All we do is dunk. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Boy, you don't want to jump. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Yo, my bird is going up. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I do it for the love. Dunk Tip Tuesday. You know I do it for my subs. Dunk Tip Tuesday.